Hi everyone, today's book is called Invisible Me and it's written by Wendy Binks. Let's have a look at the cover. The animals on the cover are called emus. And emus are an Australian animal. Let's find out what happens in this book with the emus. Stripey the emu chick lived at Fair Dinkum Flats with his 29 brothers and sisters and his parents, Crikey and Sheila. Stripey wondered why all the emu chicks had fluffy stripes while his parents didn't. It's called camouflage, his sister Leggy told him. Dad says it keeps us safe by turning us invisible. Invisible? gasped Strikey. Are we invisible now? No, silly, said Leggy. We're only invisible when we're in a special place. But Leggy didn't know where that special place might be. Have a look at the emus. Write down what the colours are that you can see on the emus' bodies. Let's turn the page and see if we can find out where the special place is. Stripey really wanted to turn invisible, so he set off in search of someone who would know where his special place was. He went past Dingbat Ditch and Furball Creek and was running through Dusty Bucket Gully when a voice came out of nowhere. Hi Stripey! Stripey looked up, and down, and all around. Have a look at the picture on this page. Can you see the animal that's hidden, that's camouflaged? If you can see it, write down the name of the animal. If you're not sure how to spell the name, just have a guess. There was nothing to see but rocks, until something moved, and there was Bluey, the red kangaroo, with her joey socks. You're invisible, said Stripey, impressed. I'm looking for the place where I can be invisible too. Do you know where that is? Hmm, said Bluey, scratching her chest. These rocks work well for us. Why don't you try here? Stripey lay down beside the rocks and tried hard to make himself invisible. But Bluey shook her head. Sorry, Stripey. Emu chicks must need a different place. You'll have to ask someone else. Stripey wasn't about to give up so soon. He ran past the rocks and up over the hill to Jerry Can Junction when he heard a voice say, Hi Stripey! Stripey looked up, down and all around. Can you spot the animal that's camouflaged on this page? Suddenly, a tongue flickered. And there, up a snappy gum tree, was Swagger the Goanna. Swagger, said Stripey, you're invisible too. Do you know the special place where I can be invisible? I haven't any idea where that might be, said Swagger. But you can try mine if you like. Stripey stood up against the tree 
and kept very still. Nope, that doesn't work at all, said Swagger. You'll have to ask someone else. So Stripey set off again in the direction of Spaghetti Springs, wondering what his camouflage could be when a voice called out, Hi Stripey! Stripey looked up and down and all around. Do you think Stripey will be able to be invisible here? Let's find out. And what a surprise, there was Toot, the western ground parrot, eating seeds. I didn't even see you, said Stripey. I wish I could turn invisible the way you do. Come and hide here with me, said Toot. Stripey squeezed himself into the undergrowth and held his breath. Well, he whispered. Toot flapped and shook her head. Oh dear, it doesn't work at all for an emu chick. You'll have to find somewhere else. Stripey was determined not to give up. He ran across the springs and past the old miner's shack at Creaky Chair Creek when he heard an unexpected voice. Hi, Stripey. Stripey looked up and down and all around. Have a look at this page. How many animals can you see hidden? And there was Shuffle the Echidna, waking from a nap. Wow, I couldn't even see you, Stripey exclaimed. Do you know the place where I can be invisible too? Shuffle shook her head. No idea, but why don't you try here with me? So Stripey lay down where Shuffle had been. Shuffle took one look at Stripey and laughed. Ha <laughs> ha! You look like a very odd stripy toilet brush. I guess you'll have to ask someone else. I think Stripey's probably getting a little bit frustrated. He hasn't had any luck so far. Let's turn the page and see if we can find out what Stripey learns. Stripey set off quickly, more quickly than before. He couldn't wait to be invisible. He was just passing some houses on the edge of Dunnydore Town when a voice called out of the blue, Hi Stripey! Stripey looked up, down and all around. How many animals can you see hidden on this page? Do you know the names of any of those animals? There, on a washing line, between the socks and the jocks, was Hanger the Fruit Bat. What a great place to hide, said Stripey. I'm looking for the place where I can be invisible. Do you know where it is? I haven't got a clue, said Hanger. But you can try hanging out with me. It wasn't easy, but Stripey managed to hang upside down. Wherever your special place is, it's certainly not the washing line, said Hanger. You'll have to ask someone else. Stripey set off again, even though his legs were getting tired. Soon, he arrived at the Dunnydore football field. It was so noisy. There were people everywhere and Stripey felt very small. He saw the two crows, Rowdy and Scrap, and called out, Hey guys! Rowdy and Scrap 
looked up and down and all around. Stripey, said Scrap, we didn't see you there at all. You're invisible. Stripey looked down at himself. Stripey looked down at himself, then around at all the people. That's when he realised that everyone was Stripey, just like him. Do you think this is Stripey's special place? It looks like everyone is Stripey, just like Stripey is. Can you see any other animals hidden on this page? I've done it! I've turned invisible! laughed Stripey. I've found the special place for me! But Rowdy and Scrap looked at each other and shook their heads. Oh no, said Rowdy. This isn't the right place for you, Stripey. You belong in the bush. There must be a place there where you can be invisible. Stripey has travelled a long way. And he's just found out that the place where he looks invisible isn't his special place. How do you think Stripey might feel? Had he come all this way for nothing? Stripey felt so disappointed. It had been a very big day and he had a long way to go home. When Stripey finally arrived back at Fair Dinkum Flats, Crikey and Sheila were very relieved to see him. Leggy and the other chicks were already in a pile, fast asleep. Stripey snuggled in too. And guess what? There, amongst the leaves and grass, in this very special place, no one would have guessed those 30 emu chicks were there at all. The end. Have a look at this picture. See how many emu chicks you can count. We know there should be 30. See if you can count them all. On each of the pages that we read in this book, there were animals that were hidden, that were camouflaged. Why do you think some animals need to hide? What might they be hiding from? And that's the story of Stripey in the book Invisible Me by Wendy Binks. I hope you enjoyed it.